Oh, I think so. Put that bit up. Back up where it belongs. That works, yeah. I guess that works. What that for? Okay, well. I mean, I'm not in the shot. Come here. I mean, I'm in the shot, but I need to sign in the shot. There you go. This is what I wore today. Well, Sloan shirt. You got my hammer. Got my uh, fan new hammer. On the side, they want my buttons. Okay, a little wrap up of, of, of a dealer's confidence that we had today. Let me put this thing back. Come on, get yeah, right. Uh, first of all, I I took the bus, public transportation, up to the conference. I just caught a fact that the guys he illegally, you know, he stopped and let me on the bus, whatever. I, the thing was a dollar seventy five. I only had a dollar forty, but he let me go again. Hey, old man has his privileges. But while I was going up there, and what's name? Hold me a shirt, but they didn't really have a crisis. He said they were going fast, but they weren't. So here's the ADOS official hashtag ADOS shirt. I just got it because I wanted to support, you know, uh, Africa, uh, descendants of slavery. Politics is an exchange, not a gift. That's actually too big for me. It's a large. I really take a medium. Everybody thinks I'm, this is a large, but it fits better. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do it. I'll give it to somebody. Maybe I'll give it to, um, yeah, because uh, Nelson got the tickets, but he couldn't come and blah, 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 all the rest of that stuff. I don't know. These are glasses I was wearing all day today. Why am I trying to put them on now? Oh, I, I like these glasses. Okay, so the people today, the lineup, you know, they had a fishing program here. Let me just review the lineup for you. I'll tell you how I thought everybody did, the people that I saw. Let me see. I had to walk in with Dr. Cosby. I'll go over there. I get to the meat of the matter. I don't know why I'm wearing these because like it's for my sight, not for my reading. My reading glasses. Well, oh, I left them back in New York. Opening session. Um, the mayor, Cosby. I missed that one. I came late. Oh, did I see that one? No, I missed that one. Sorry about that. Uh, mission of the conference. You read. I think I missed one. The black agenda. I missed that one too. I think I came in on the black agenda. Yeah. Um, uh, the budgetary process. Oh, the congressman. Uh, who's a, who's a, anyway, he spoke about H, uh, he spoke about reparations share of H, H, HBCUs, you know, historically black colleges. Now, it was kind of interesting because when he said, when he, when he mentioned people of color, well, the audience wasn't having it. So they corrected him right away. I don't know if you're going to take that with him. But, you know, I have a, I have a, I post up YouTube on him. You know, he did the political answers. And so that's what it was. Uh, continuing the struggle for, for oh, then, uh, I think Yvette spoke then. Oh, yeah, she introduced uh, Cornell West. Cornell West, he was good. I've seen Cornell a lot of times, but he was he was he was on it. He was on it this time, and I got a, I got a, I didn't really interview him. I, I somebody else interviewed him. I just piggybacked on it, so it's up on on the channel too. Um, President Kennedy. Well, Marion was Marion was 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 decent. She was good. I mean, you know, she wasn't spectacular, but she was good. She made her points. She was you know. Get, get that information on the thing. But, you know, again, I would really have her be like um, the what's this, Secretary of Education or something like that. That's what I would do if I had my druthers. Um, Dr. Cosby, he was good. Dr. Cosby was good, you know. And he mentioned Asa Hilliard. He's got to be good. He mentioned Asa Hilliard. Oh, man, Dr. A you know Asa Hilliard? Mm, heavy, heavy, right up there with uh, Amos Wilson, you know. It's, you know. Anyway, uh, uh, Zarina Harris, she was good too. She's talked about what was her topic? Um, uh, housing 101, wealth extraction and gentrification. She told you all the things how they get, how well, basically how they they steal. <laughs> they being you know, as 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 uh, uh, Corey Hogan would say, the Caucasian steal from you. Uh, uh, black institution and the kind of, it's okay, right? Um, oh, the uh, role and responsibility of white allies. Uh, this guy, I guess I don't do Twitter or uh, what's his name or Facebook or Instagram, but uh, but Yvette had been back and forth with this guy for a long time from the beginning. Paul uh, Sowers, yes, so Sowers, oh, Paul Sowers, anyway, Paul, and uh, he was very good. I mean, because he was from the beginning, he's following this thing, tracking this thing, and understanding how what what the whole white thing is about. Uh, Antonio talked about uh, economics. I went out and did something else because I hear the same stuff from Antonio all the time. So yeah, it's fine with me. You know, it's facts, you know, data, blah blah. Um, I gave back a project takeover: the, the power of black politics 
and black institution, this was a bit. This was really good. Something we've been saying all day. Basically, she's advocating that, you know, all these organizations, they say they're for black people, and then we always say, you yeah, know, those people just poverty pimps or whatever, have it. well, go and do something. Go to their local chapters. You know, it's like down balloting, you know what I mean? Go to local chapters and take over. For you know, take over the local, the the, the the local at the local level, the national level, something else, and call these people out. Speaking of down ballot, um, they made a special announcement, with Antonio, um, and they were saying that you know they don't support any presidential candidate, but what we should do is vote down ballot. You know, they, nobody's responding. Vote down ballot. That's what you do. Um, down ballot. You know what down ballot is. You vote. You vote. You know, forget the president and the vice president. You make sure your congressman is cool. And if you want to forget that too, you can't do. It. But you know, you go down all those all those other positions. That's, that means you got to do some studying. You know, be studying what the judges are and all that sort of stuff. Uh, then you have this panel discussion. This is kind of is uh, well. Let me put about the panel discussion. I don't know, just Joshua Poe. I didn't actually pay attention to the panel discussion. I I was I wasn't with it. I just. I wasn't interested, so tell you the truth, I didn't, I didn't see it. But I talked to later. I talked to the sister, and the sister and her, and her cousin at the bar. But you know, we everybody met, you know, because they was hashing out this thing, uh, going to uh, do it like a, um, a what, what do you call those things? Those um, those specialty groups, you know, the, uh, where you give out money packs, you know. So you want a super pack. And they would have packs, though. So in each region, there's a lot of organizations going on. Like Chicago got a strong organization. Atlanta got an organization that's pretty strong. Uh, L.A., both both northern and southern L.A., they're, they're pretty strong. I think um, I think even, uh, I'm not sure, Los Angeles, Las Vegas, not sure. Anyway, so so there's these chapters. And so they, they would be your packs. And then you have a super pack, which is a national thing. They're putting the infrastructure for that. So you got some money you want to support super pack to get eight U.S. offices and in, 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 in things. There's a sister from Atlanta that got beat out by some ally for Stacey Abrams, or well, some ally, some, you know, um, lackey, whatever you want, a minion for Stacey Abrams because of the Democratic Party. She was coming closer and closer each time than the Democratic Party said, swooped in and, uh, you know, did what they do. Um, so... That's really, um, I mean, that's, but, but you know, I, I was interviewing some people because, you know, I do, I, I do low to the ground, you know. People are pretty suspicious. See, the thing is that you got to have trust. Um, let me eat my, this is my last piece of, this chocolate is really good. I'm actually going to get another thing. Remember I said that, you know, don't be, you know, you got to look at the, uh, what do you call it, the, 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 the total carbs, something like that. And this is only 5%. See, I, I'm at the last, the last little bit here. I went and then uh, saved it. I've been having had this for over ten days. I think I got it from Brooklyn. Uh, one of my favorite shops here in Brooklyn. It's like a not a Whole Foods, like a it's a supermarket thing, but they're good. We got everything there. I like them. Mm. This is my last little bit. And you can see this thing? It's not wasteful. Let's tell you, this is not plastic. This is a plant-based film. That is uh, compostable, so this is recyclable. And then they have this whole thing here. They tell you where, you know, where, the, where the, um, the chocolate comes from, what region of the world. This is the West Africa, um, uh, San Tomé. Yeah, it's come from West Africa, by the equator. So anyway, they got a whole story there. It's called Divine Organic Rich Dark Chocolate with Turmeric. That's what got me, and ginger. Two of my favorites. So I'm going to get this again, actually. And it took me a long time to eat it because I don't know. It's a, uh, high cocoa, organic, and fair trade, vegan, non HGMO, no H non GMO, HGMO, natural ingredients, no artificial flavors, no palm oil or soy. That's what got me too. I don't like the soy business. That's contaminated. You know, my scientists and all that stuff. So, anyways, I've been keeping the bag. They got a picture of the, one of the brothers there that throws the thing like that. So um, I gotta read more of this. Take this thing apart. Read the story. You know, try out other flavors. Well, whatever it is. So this is this is a uh, pure tart. This is I got in the refrigerator. This is on. Uh, see, you're not, you're not supposed to do alcohol and coffee, whatever. At night, you should do drink some up. Uh, I like black cherry. They didn't have any black cherry here, so this is cherry tart, all natural. Blah 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 blah. So that's it. 
I'm about to go to bed. Why don't we do some more reading? I'm almost, every time I try to read <laughs> the Dr. King book, I get interrupted. Something happens. So I probably fall asleep, but I wake up early enough tomorrow morning. I do it now. Wake up early enough to catch the bus and be up there on time to, uh, to the thing because I know the bus route now. Hey, I even have the exact change for the old $1. seventy-five. Anyway, that's it for me. Uh, this this glorious night in uh, in uh, St. Louis, St. St. Louis. Where am I? No, Louisville, Louisville, Kentucky, where the ATOS conference is taking place. And I'm your I'm your reporter on the spot. Me, T from the Pattersons, taking the trenches a bit, letting you know what I what I actually know from you know being at the ATOS conference.